Hello, everybody. We are here at a milestone of we our are. vault videos. We are here at the six months of the vaults. It seems it's flown by. It does seem that way, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, and I can remember launching it. Yeah. It was... We've talked about it a lot, and there's lots of people getting very excited. I have lots of people coming up to me at, at um, Gen Con and Clash of Kings just saying, hey, we love what you're doing with it, you engage with it. Yeah. I never quite got into Armada. Now me and my boy play every weekend. I, you know, I do hear that a lot. I see it a lot online as well, people. Yeah. The Justice Gives kind of one of those that came out of lockdown, da, 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 didn't quite tip. All of a sudden, I can print my boats. I, I can get on and do it. And um, and people have been loving it and, and playing. And yeah. um, and obviously, that's one of the big highlights. I think if we're looking back at, at the first six months, I think Armada is a standout success. I think so, yeah. I mean, it's certainly been very, very popular. Um I think we managed to sell out of our essentials. <laughs> yes, yeah, so well, we, we did have three years stock, uh, yeah. then we had three months stock. Yeah. So that was the rubber mat and the rule book and the exactly. other things to go with your prints. Bosh. Yeah. Dead ones print their fleets and bought that box and got playing. Yeah, so. got playing. Yeah, some, some, some dice and some cards and everything else. So there we are. So that's great fun. And what are, what are the other things that we've had I mean, in the six months? What else have we covered? Well, we started introducing things like army packs. Yep. So the Halflings was one of the first ones where yep. you got all your arms, the accessories, the heads. Things the that are difficult for us to make in resin, um, expensive yeah. and therefore 30, 40 pits for a hoard. Easy for you to print if you want to do it. Still do it yeah. in resin so you can get it whichever way you want. And then some of those other kits that are you know big and difficult in yeah. resin. Yeah, so yeah, that's definitely. a great way of building an army up. Buy your mega army, finish it off, playing. Yeah. Um, we started tickling into a little bit of the sci-fi, I think, in the last couple of months, too, didn't we? We did. We did some a lot of focus on GCPS yeah. um, initially, because that covers Maison, it covers GCPS as well, and they're just really cool sci-fi human figures. Um, it's been a lot of those <laughs> getting out there printed. We even did an exclusive vehicle, so the Bronco came out. Yeah. Um, Everybody seems to be quite pleased with those. Yeah, yeah I think absolutely. that surprised a yeah, lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go there. So anyway, enough of the past. Bah, yeah. bah, humbug. Forget about it. Now this is your six-month gift. That's a big is, one. Is, I'm going to drop it, so yeah. I'm be very careful. But this is the Hellfane. It's the Abyssal Dwarfs. They may or may not be coming in a two-player set. Uh, Fight against the Twilight Kin near you soon. Yeah. But I mean, this I think is probably one of the most beautiful kits we've ever done. It's an absolute stunner. Yeah. Um. And if you've been subscribed for six months or you've got six... If you've got six months worth of packs, right. so six individual packs, you will get that for free. So if you're a subscriber, after you're going to be getting it because it's month six. Yes. If you're seeing this video later than that and you go in and buy a few backpacks, you don't need to have every single You'll one. You'll just get you, it. But once you get to six, it'll there a lot. So that's beautiful. Um, I'm guessing that's tying in with a little bit of Abyssal Dwarf stuff and things coming yeah. up. Yeah, I, I think there will be some Abyssal Dwarf things to see alongside it. It makes sense, you know. The and Twilight what? Kin are getting in the spotlight, so let's yeah. let their enemies have some fun too. Okay, and now you've just drifted into the Twilight Kin. Are we saving them for the finale, or we're gonna we're gonna unveil that? They'll be at some point in the next six months. I think there'll be some Twilight Kin stuff. Okay, um, are we talking about the Twilight Kin assassin? Yeah, okay. I mean, that, I'll let you do exclusive. That one. Yeah, right. that, that exclusive one. So there is a Volta exclusive coming. It's a Twilight Kin assassin. It's going to come out. If you want to print it, there it is. We've also oh, you got... mean this one, right? I mean, I mean that's that's the Twilight King Assassin too, isn't it? So, you know, was... everyone likes that one. Um, <laughs> and they think there's a... Um, you're also going to get uh, that classic upgrade pack. Now, we've started yes. to sculpt this army while we knew the vaults was coming. We're able to start doing yes. standard bearers. I love standard bearers. And they yeah. don't give me standard bearers in my arms anymore. But we do now. Correct. So you can go and print them. Because it's not the type of thing that people want in resin. And we're not allowed to take plastic space up. Yeah. But you can start getting some accoutrements and accessories. Yes. That when we're sculpting, we're going to add it to the sculpt list and it comes into the vaults. It does. I mean, last month was the Northern Alliance. Yeah. And we actually put a banner arm in that pack for the sculled model. Yeah. So literally just print it on to replace one of his arms. And you've now got a banner bearer there as well. So, so we just started to add that character and colour because we know we were doing vaults. We can start working it into the yeah. sculpt list. And it's not no one that doesn't have the 3D printers lost anything. But the guys that do have it, and you don't have a description of gaining things. 
Yeah. So that's really cool. I think it's very exciting. I think Mikkel can just become a soul reaver with some conversions. Yeah, yeah. there's some bits in there to make it a non-character version. Yeah. So there's uh, there's lots of Twilight King stuff. The Kings of War is basically going mean, to we can see here in the next six months is still going to continue to get there's the a love lot of chunky stuff coming. Of the big uh, you know expensive kits that you can yeah. print at home and save you having to ship those around the world. What else have we got coming up, Clive? What else is coming in the next six months? Well, I mean, as you can see, there there is a spattering of a lot of different systems. Um, we're still keeping the love for systems like Armada. Okay, you so you're going to get more fleets? You are going to get gonna more fleets. Keep rolling fleets. those through. So if you're in the Armada halfway through, don't worry. Not every month necessarily, but most no. months there's still going to be yeah. some more Armada until we've completed out that range. So yeah. if you're into it, huzzah, you're going to have the full range. It'll trickle through and you'll see a stream of... Oh, he's just trickling over. I tell you what, he's, know, he's terrible. Isn't it? Puns, bloody awful. Name. Right, <laughs> let's keep going. What's um, this stuff here? So this is actually for Firefight. These are the yep. upgrades that released. Very cool. Released already. Um, okay, so they've come upgrade. out in resin if you want them. They're yes. in the retail stores, but then we don't see them as a long term retail line. No. Uh, they're on the vaults. You can order from Mantic Direct or you can yeah. just come here and print so again, them yourselves. Pop them on your plastic vehicles and build and the army that you want. Fantastic, don't they? They're just really yeah. characterful pieces that just, just integrate seamlessly with your kit. That's and, right. Um, all digital. Um, okay. Um, what are these? Oh, these, these are really, really cool. And I kind of sneaked them in. Um, these are from Star Saga. And they are suitable for Dead Zone. So they're Dead Zone faction. Yeah, yeah, they are. I think mm, I'm struggling to think of their name. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like they haven't got a name. Yeah, exactly. Okay. They're nameless. See where you go with that pun now. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, blah, blah. okay. So nameless is going to be getting a faction release. Yeah, going to release Zone. all of them. Whether it's one pack or two. However, uh, however we'll they're coming out. Dead, Zone, Dead yes. Zone's coming out. So we've got cool things there. We're going to have a little bit of a. We've got a little bit of sci-fi terrain, I think, coming we as well. Have, um, as there's an exclusive pack coming to the vault, which is for short, stunty people in space. Um, there's a nice big terrain pack to come. Yeah, so you it's can great. You love it. Uh, it was one of the things that we didn't tool uh, during Terrain Crate 3. It didn't quite fit the battlefields that we were going for, but it had been sculpted. It's gorgeous. And uh, we finished it off and got it ready for this thingy. So there's more exclusive content. And we're not allowed to mention the green and the red fellas here. Oh, no, they're from another game system, I think. At some point, so we might be doing another game. Might want. So keep watching. Thank you for supporting us so far. Yeah, it's been it's been phenomenal. It's been, it's been a breeze. It's been a laugh. We're going to keep doing it. Please keep recruiting your friends. Keep sharing the word. We're going to have a big push with my mini factory to try and get all of their fans start playing Armada, best game ever. So let's get them involved. Um, and you know the nice thing is there is the whole game up there for Armada. They can just there print is. out, start playing, and away they go. So. Thank you for supporting us. Please keep doing so. We appreciate your efforts. We do. I love hearing the suggestions and seeing the prints. So, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.